Hello my friends, Tim DeSaint here. Today we're going over 20 winter outfit ideas for you to look stylish during these long cold months. Wool is the name of the game in winter. You can never go wrong with a cream wool sweater, some denim and some sneakers. Also this jacket from Ami has been a mainstay in my wardrobe since last year. I love the color and texture of it. Great for a nice casual everyday outfit. For something a little smarter, swap the jeans for some smart trousers and go for a more tailored coat. Black and brown is such an underrated color combo in my opinion and I've been loving playing around with these colors lately. One of my favorite jackets right now is this black nylon jacket from Cold Buxton. I don't think it's available on their website right now unfortunately, but it is such a cool piece. It's very versatile, but I think it looks best with the more casual outfits like sweatpants, a sweatshirt, and a pair of sneakers for an easygoing, comfortable outfit that still looks put together. Or you can also swap the sweatpants for some jeans and go for an all black look. When going all black, I like to have different textures to add more dimension to the outfit. So here you've got the denim, the leather of the shoes, the wool sweater, the nylon jacket, and the canvas cap. It just helps differentiate each part of the outfit and make the whole look more interesting. Speaking about black, there is no item in winter that is more of a wardrobe staple than the black overcoat. I have a deep passion for coats, and the black overcoat is at the top of the list. I've had this one for many, many years, so unfortunately you will not find it anywhere. The versatility of a black coat is unmatched. You can pair it with some smart trousers, some knitwear and sneakers for a smart casual outfit, or go for a black suit and black turtleneck combo underneath for something a little smarter that you would wear to a fancier venue when you want to be a bit more dressed up, a bit more chic. Or keep it laid back with some jeans, sneakers and some colorful knitwear. I've been loving wearing white jeans lately. It feels a little bit more chic than your standard light wash jeans without trying too hard. That's the power of the color white to be honest. There is something inherently chic and effortless about outfits that use white and cream tones in general. In fact, you can even go for an all-white outfit in winter and look super elegant. The key here is to go for slightly different shades of white, off-white, cream, ivory, etc. So you don't just blend into this one uniform shade of white. Ah, coats, coats, coats. I've got a few more top tier favorites in my collection, so let me just take you guys through the rotation. This gray coat from Le Mer is my latest pickup and it is an absolute gem. So simple yet bold at the same time. Featuring maximalist large padded shoulders, a key component of many of Le Mer's designs, it really gives a lot of structure and draws the attention to the upper body. I like to style it with other muted pieces like this black Uniqlo turtleneck and these gray Le Mer trousers. This Fear of God one is another favorite of mine with a similar shoulder structure. Another way you can style formal coats like this is to break the formality with some more casual loungewear in true Fear of God fashion. This won't work with just any sweatpants though, so instead of your standard slim sweatpants that cinch in at the ankles, opt for some straight leg ones that break a little bit on the shoe. Speaking about shoes, I've been absolutely loving the New Balance 993 lately. I love the classic running shoe design and it is such a comfortable shoe to wear with its breathable mesh upper and a supportive midsole that provides good cushioning for extra comfort. So I got this pair of New Balances, the 530s of course, and this new pair of 550s on the Kickscrew app. Kickscrew is a sneaker marketplace with over 400,000 unique styles. They only work with authentic retailers so you can be sure that your sneakers will be 100% authentic all of the time. All shoes come in their original packaging with the Kicks Crew RFID tag to show that they're legit. Look at these beauties. To be honest, it's hard to decide which New Balance I prefer between the 550s, the 530s, and the 993. The 550s in white can be a great go-to white sneaker, but then again, I also love the sporty look of the 530s or the vintage runner aesthetic of the 993s. But let me know in the comments which ones you prefer. You can find all of these sneakers and thousands more on Kicks Crew. Just go to the link in the description to check out their website. Or if you want 10% off, download the Kicks Crew app and use this discount code right here. Black and white is the color combo that never fails. Try wearing a black turtleneck with some white jeans or trousers, then black or white shoes, maybe an accessory, and a coat of your choice. Here I'm going for this gorgeous beige coat from Ami to stay in similar 
neutral tones. Earth tones like beige or brown are such a staple color palette for coats in general, whether you go for a smarter one like this or something more casual like this brown cotton blend coat from Essentials. This one is a bit more of a Macintosh type coat that you could wear when it's raining. I love the silhouette of both Essentials and Fear of God pieces. It pairs really well with an oversized hoodie and more street wary pieces in general. Little side note, light gray and beige is such a clean color combo in my opinion. I love the clean tonal look that it gives. The last coat in my rotation is this iridescent green car coat from Fear of God. This is the statement coat. It is not functional or versatile and it doesn't try to be. This is the one I bring out when I want to wear something bold that makes a statement. For example, to a fashion show. Because of how bold it is, I like to wear it with more paired back pieces that don't take away the attention from it. However, I definitely would not recommend getting a coat like this unless you already have a substantial wardrobe and have the disposable income to splurge on statement pieces pieces. We can't talk about winter outfits without mentioning fleece. You can never go wrong with a nice fleece jacket or fleece sweater. I like black and gray the most as far as colors go for a fleece. You can pair it with some jeans, sneakers, and a baseball cap for a very easy to put together everyday outfit. But let's talk about what to wear when it rains, because we all know winter is very often synonymous with rainy, windy, muddy weather. In come the rain boots. It's tough to find good looking rain boots in a fashion sense, but I think these look amazing. I like to style them with black jeans that are on the slimmer side so I can tuck them into the boots. These are from Bottega so obviously quite expensive but for a more affordable alternative I'd recommend checking out Stutterheim. The Rainwalkers look amazing although they do look more like a Chelsea boot. Zara also has a few variants inspired by the Bottega puddle boots or my personal favorite the Hunter Wellington boots. Great color selection and probably the closest in terms of design. And if you don't like the pants tucked into the boots look, you can also go for some wider fitting pants that fall on top of the shoe. These white jeans from Arkit are perfect for that. White, black and brown are three neutrals that go really well together. As you can see I had some fun here pairing the black zip hoodie with the zip slightly undone from the bottom with the brown wool jacket buttoned up over it. It's my first time trying this and I kind of like it. Let me know in the comments what you think of the combo. Fashion is all about experimenting and sometimes you'll hit, sometimes you'll miss and it's all in good fun. I hate 90% of cards cardigans on me, but 10% of them, the chunky knitted ones, I can get with. Paired with some classic blue jeans and white sneakers, you just can't mess this up. This is a timeless outfit that you could even wear to a casual office. As I'm sure many women do, I love my shades of grey, except this outfit only has 5 of them. Monochromatic tonal outfits are my cup of tea in winter. By the way, I would highly recommend searching for these trousers at Zara because they are a treasure find. It's usually hard for me to find pieces that fit well of decent quality at Zara, but these wool trousers definitely made the cut. Good fabric, good construction, and good silhouette overall. If you want to go for something a little more sporty, try a varsity jacket. Personally, I like the contrast of the sporty aesthetic of a varsity jacket with more elegant black smart trousers. It gives off a sporty chic vibe that I find really cool. Last but not least, let's style this more out there piece that I got recently. These 1991 loose fit faded red jeans with hints of blue from Acne Studios. When it comes to statement pants like these, I'll tone down the top half of the outfit with simple items like a grey hoodie and a coat. For the shoes, I chose the Clark's original desert boots. Mid shades of brown and grey are great colors to pair with this faded, slightly desaturated shade of red because they're at a similar level of saturation in the color spectrum. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, I hope you've gotten a few cool outfit ideas that you can play around with, some extra inspo for your wardrobe, and as always everything will be linked in the description if the products are available. I wish you a beautiful day and I will see you in the next one.